Recently, I got a question about why the system is taking so much from the storage. The system storage and so known other space is a big place of confusion for Mac users. But don't worry, it's not so bad as it looks. I will show you that on my computer. First go to the Apple menu and select About this Mac. Then click on Storage. First the storage is just generally split, on used and not used. Then after a while it starts to divide up in sections. When it does that, look at the system storage. Sometimes it can look alarmingly big. It's over 200 GB in my case. Wow, that's almost half of my storage taken by the system. There must be something wrong. A lot of people make the mistake of closing it here and look for a solution. But what you should do is to simply wait. It's still calculating. I am showing you this in a real time and it really takes a while. According to me, Apple should include here a small indicator or a message saying that it is still calculating. How long I'm already talking here and it's still not updated. But if you wait long enough, eventually it will begin to divide things up. What is actually happening here is that the computer is looking in the system and library folders and trying to figure out what's inside there. If it finds something that belongs in another category, it will move it there. So if we wait long enough, we will see it change. As you can see here, it put most of it into documents, which is not true either. I'll explain that later. Now system drop down to around 20 GB. If I go to manage and look there, it will show me the same thing and not really help me to clean anything. But you have complete control to be able to look into any folders of your Mac and figure out what's there. So why not do that? The thing is that a big part of it is actually accounting for iCloud. You can find proof of it in one of the library folders. Yes, there are actually two library folders on the Mac. Let me show you. So the first place I want to look is at the computer level. And look at the system folder. I will use command I to get info. You will quickly find out how much the system is actually taking. It says 29 gigabytes here. Well, it's not little, but I can live with it. But what about the other 50 or more gigabytes? So where is it? Well, as I said, there are two library folders. There is a library folder for the system, which we just opened. And there is also a library folder for each user. The easiest way how to get into user library folder is to be using the Go menu. Here I can see it. If you don't have it there, hold the option key down on your keyboard and the library will appear. Looking now in the user library folder, I can see that it's really huge. Good way how to find where are the big files is to switch it into a list view and sort it by size. If you don't see the sizes if it's not calculating for the folders, control click or right click it anywhere in the folder and open show view options. And down here, select calculate all sizes. As you can see on top, the biggest folder is called mobile documents. Once you open it, you will actually find out that's the iCloud. Nearly 40 GB in my case. And that's not all, there are other folders that are taking a lot of space as well. I can look in these different folders and get an idea what is it used for. Mostly, these are used as a cache files to speed things up. But it can also be some old recordings, Final Cut projects, photo library, or even some leftovers from apps you don't use anymore. Well, this is different for everyone. You will have to manually find out what is taking the space here and delete it. It's your user library so there is no problem if you delete something from there. So in this video, I just wanted to explain the mystery about huge Mac system storage. If you cut it in pieces, you will actually find out that the system is not taking so much. But still, there are a lot of things which can be cleaned up. I have already posted two very detailed videos about it. If you really want to clean the storage, check it out. You should see the videos on the screen already or you will find a link for it in the description. I hope this topic is clear now. 
and I will see you in the next video with another tutorial.